The mass murder last week at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, has something in common with America's deadliest massacres, the AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. Variations of the AR-15 were used in this month's massacre at a Buffalo supermarket, at a Texas Walmart in 2019, a Florida high school in 2018, a Texas church and a Las Vegas concert in 2017, and Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. The AR-15 style weapon is the most popular rifle in America, with well over 11 million, and they are rarely used in crime. But the AR-15 is the weapon of choice of the worst mass murderers. AR-15 ammunition travels up to three times the speed of sound, and as we first showed you in 2018, we're going to slow that down so you can see why the AR-15's high-velocity ammo is the fear of every American emergency room. The story will continue in a moment. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mass shootings were once so shocking... Where the f is this coming from? ...they were impossible to forget. We have an after shooter inside the fairground. Now they've become so frequent, it's hard to remember them all. There's people here, there's people, they're all bleeding and they're gonna die. Oh my God, they're dead. In October 2018, at a Pittsburgh synagogue, 11 were killed, six wounded. Just 11 months before, it was a church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, Assistant Fire Chief Rusty Duncan was among the first to arrive. 90% of the people in there were unrecognizable. Uh, you know, the, the blood everywhere, I mean, it just covered them from head to toe. They were shot in so many different places that you just couldn't make out who they were. The church is now a memorial to the 26 who were murdered. I've never had the experience, not with any kind of weapon like this. For me to see the damage that it did was unbelievable. It was shattering concrete. I can, you know, you can only imagine what it does to a human body. The police estimate that he fired about 450 rounds. Oh, I believe it. I saw the damage it did. I saw all the holes in the church, from one side to the other. All the pews, the concrete, the carpet. I saw it all. A gunshot wound is potentially fatal no matter what kind of ammunition is used. But Cynthia Burr showed us the difference in an AR-15 round against gelatin targets in her ballistics lab at the University of Southern California. Years of research have gone into kind of what the makeup should be of this ordinance gelatin to really represent what damage you would see in your soft tissues. So this is a pretty accurate representation of what would happen to a human being. Yeah, this is currently considered the kind of the state of the art. This is a nine millimeter bullet from a handgun, which we captured in slow motion. The handgun bullet traveled about 800 miles an hour. It sliced nearly straight all the way through the gel. This one's gonna be a little bit louder. Now, look at the AR-15 round. See the difference? Yes. <laughs> it's three times faster and struck with more than twice the force. The shockwave of the AR-15 bullet blasted a large cavity in the gel, unlike the bullet from the handgun. Wow, there's an uh, enormous difference. You can see yeah, right away. Exactly. There's fragments in here. There's kind of took a curve and came out. You can see a much larger area in terms of the fractures that are inside. Now watch from above. On top, the handgun. At bottom, the AR-15. It's just exploded. It's exploded and the... it's tumbling. So what happens is the, this particular round is designed to tumble and break apart. The 9mm handgun round has a larger bullet, but this AR-15 round has more gunpowder accelerating its velocity. Both the round and the rifle were designed in the 1950s for the military. The result was the M16 for our troops and the AR-15 for civilians. 
there's going to be a lot more damage to the tissues, both bones, organs, whatever that gets kind of even near this bullet path. The bones aren't going to just break, they're going to shatter. Organs aren't just going to kind of tear or, or have bruises on them. They're going to be, parts of them are going to be destroyed. That fairly describes the wounds suffered by 29-year-old Joanne Ward. At Sutherland Springs Baptist Church, she was shot more than 20 times while covering her children. Ward was dead, her daughters mortally wounded, as Assistant Fire Chief Rusty Duncan made his way from the back of the sanctuary. As I got a couple rows up, um, Ryland's hand reached out from under his stepmom and grabbed my pant leg. I wouldn't even know he was alive until he did that. I didn't even see him under her. Well, that's where me and him made eye contact for the first time. Joanne Ward's five-year-old stepson, Ryland Ward, was hit five times and was nearly gone when he reached trauma surgeon Lillian Liao at San Antonio's University Hospital. How much of Ryland's blood do you think was lost before he came to you? At least half. This is Ryland's ER x-ray. You see the two uh, bullet fragments that are in him. The x-ray shows you the solid fragments of the shrapnel and the bullets, but it doesn't tell you much about the damage to the soft tissue. No, and it doesn't tell you what's on the inside. I mean, a bomb went off on the inside, and our job is to go in there and clean it up. A bomb went off on the inside because of the shock wave from Correct. these high-velocity rounds. Correct. Ryland endured 24 surgeries to repair his arm, leg, pelvis, intestines, kidney, bladder, and hip. At some point, it's like putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. What do you um, mean? Well, his organs are now in different pieces, and you have to reconstruct them. The arm was missing soft tissue, skin, uh, muscle, and uh, part of the nerves were damaged. The bowel has to be put back together. Some of the areas of injury has to heal itself. So you can see that he can walk around like a normal child um, and behave as normal as possible. With the AR-15, it's not just the speed of the bullet, but also how quickly hundreds of bullets can be fired. The AR-15 is not a fully automatic machine gun. It fires only one round with each pull of the trigger. But in Las Vegas, it sounded like a machine gun. That's an AR. Go, 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 come on. A special add-on device called a bump stock allowed the killer to pull the trigger rapidly enough to kill 58 and wound 489. Let's go! Come to me, hands up! In other mass killings, the AR-15 was fired without a bump stock, but even then, it can fire about 60 rounds a minute. <laughs> Ammunition magazines that hold up to 100 rounds can be changed in about five seconds. I remember hearing the gunshots go off and being so nervous and scared, and all of a sudden I felt something hit me. You'd been shot how many times? Four times. How many surgeries? Three. I, for my arm, my stomach, and my ribs and lung. In February of 2018, 17-year-old Maddie Wilford was at school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, in Parkland, Florida. <laughs> 17 were murdered, 17 wounded. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, n n there's no way, like, not me, please, not me. I don't want to go yet. Her uh, vital signs were almost non-existent. She looked like all the blood had uh, gone out of her body. She was in a state of deep shock. Paramedic Laz Ojeda saved Maddie Wilford in part because Broward County EMS recently equipped itself for the battlefield wounds that the AR-15 inflicts. We carry active uh, killer kits in our, uh, in our rescues. Active killer kits? Yes. What is that? That is a kit that has uh, five tourniquets, five uh, decompression needles, five uh, hemostatic agents, five uh, emergency trauma dressings. Dr. Peter Antevi, Broward County Medical Director, told us today's wounds demand a new kind of training. If I take you through one of our ambulances or take you through our protocols, 
almost everything we do is based on what the military has taught us. We never used to carry tourniquets. We never used to carry chest seals. These are things that were done in the military for many, many years. When did all of that change? It really changed, I think, after Sandy Hook. After Sandy Hook Elementary School, where 21st graders and six educators were killed with AR-15 rounds, a campaign called Stop the Bleed began nationwide. Good, really tight. And heavy, and doctors including Lillian Liao in San Antonio Make this tight. are training civilians who are truly the first responders. There have been more than 100,000 classes like this in the last seven years. You have to go the second round to actually stop the bleeding here. Does it hurt? Yeah, yeah her face, you, you can undo it now. The day after the shooting, my kids are waking up and they're time to go to school. And uh, my son heard, he kind of heard what, what had happened the night before when I was on the scene. And he looked at me with the fear of God that he had to go to school that day. My first instinct was, he needs a bleeding kit. My son today has a bleeding kit on his person. How old is he? 12 years old. Here it is, this is it. We, 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 I've given him this and I taught him how to use it. You believe that these mass casualty events have become so common. Absolutely. That it is important for everyone in this country to be prepared. Everyone. That's where we are in America today. That's where we are. Ryland Ward survived the church massacre because firefighter Rusty Duncan used his belt as a tourniquet. <laughs> Look where you're going. For over a year, Ryland worked often six days a week. Slow but controlled. Learning to sit. All right, we're loosening up all your muscles. Stand and walk again. Okay. You're very strong. You're very strong. Let's see if this actually goes in the hospital. Yep. Did you meet some new people in the hospital? You were there for a long time. How do you know? They told me. I talked to some of the people who helped you. Like who? There was uh, Dr. Lau. Dr. Lau, yes. Oh, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, how's your arm? Good. Let me see. He has his strength back. It's remarkable, really. But healing from the loss of his stepmother and sisters won't be as quick. How's your day? Maddie Wilford is also moving forward. Like many who suffer physical trauma, her interests have turned to medicine. And an internship. Maddie, come here. Where she's studying the kind of surgeries that saved her. Everybody out, 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 out. Not long ago, many communities assumed mass murder would never come to them. What's wrong with that door right there? Today, all Americans are being asked to prepare for the grievous wounds oh my God. of high-velocity rounds. Security, 